Hi guys, welcome to this Work at Cake tutorial in which we will see a website and we will make a similar page in Work at Cake. The website will be Celebration Church TV. Now this is a church website and uh, The pastor is Mark Gunger, and here you can see a YouTube video with him. Tale of Two Brains. It's old, he's much younger on it than he is today. The ratio is 4 to 3. The quality is 300 pixels not so great but the content is hilarious my wife and I were watching it laying on the bed and we laughed our heads off he speaks about man's brain and women's brain it's just great now on their website I want to look at this watch page and here is this navigation bar as you can see it's fixed it's transparent it has a shadow under it so we will make a similar page in racket cake not exactly the same but one that is similar in many ways so how do we do that in rocket cake so we bring in a container and drop it on the working area this will be our navigation bar I will drop another inside let the maximum width be 1400 and let's center this Here I put heading 1, okay, let's just write celebrate. Let's make it lighter, let's give it a border, solid with 3 with let's give it some padding let this second container inside have zero padding let the minimum height be 30 this one also so here is the beginning of our navigation bar let's preview it Okay, so let's give this some shadow, right click and let's choose box shadow, let's enable it, we don't really need an offset, so that's good. The blur radius, well, let it be 5. Okay, let's see how that works. Preview. Similar, this one is bigger, so let's make ours bigger. Let's say 7. And, and let's check it.
kind of. Okay. Oh, it's still five. So let's say seven. Okay, let's check again. Okay, this seems a little too much. Let's say six. And well, let the color be somewhat lighter. This seems too light, yeah. Let's check that. Well, kind of. Okay, we can play around more if we want, but that will be kind of, kind of okay. Now, let's give it some buttons, like that. Let's take a styled button. And let this go to the right side. Now this one is aligned to the left. This one is aligned to the right. So they are in two different lines. So what we will do, I click on this and uh, here at float I choose left. So it floats to the left and uh, the button is in the same line now. Let's make it smaller. This one. Let's make the size well, 132. Kind of. Well, let it be 120. Okay. The roundness should be 16. Let's say home. Let's make this bold and let's make it smaller. 10. Okay. Let's make the color darker. Okay. Let's make this text smaller. Okay. Let's give this some margin on the top. I guess that's a little too much. Yeah. Um, what about four? Does this seem equal? Kind of, yeah. Okay. Now. We want this to be much lighter and actually originally we want the background color to be white and we use hover styles and let the hover fill color be black. Let the text color be the same. Let's preview that. Now this is not exactly what we want. We want, don't want this to be so dark black, but we will give it some transparency and let it be 95%. Let's preview that. Okay, that looks more like it.
and we will want this to be transparent but now let's bring the other other container here and let's make it really big so we could scroll Okay, so now it disappears, so let's make this bar fixed. Right click, HTML code, additional CSS styles, and let's type the following. Position fixed. Z index and a positive number 100. All right, so position colon fixed semicolon Z index 100. Z index colon 100 semicolon and uh, a space before and after. Okay, now let's see the preview. All right, you, here you can see that the page is scrolling, but uh, the navigation bar is fixed, just like it is here. Okay, let's give the page some content. So we want these three boxes. Let's have a container with columns, okay? Three columns, that's okay. Let the maximum width of this column be 800. and let it be in the center. Okay, it's in the center and now the, these are in the center also because of my former cl click. Let's send them down a little. So here they are in the center and their width is 33%. Uh, Let's put some image into them. size be 100 percent okay copy this paste it paste it copy this okay now we want a big one on their top also so let's bring a container inside go inside go inside yes good and we copy and paste this one okay now this is a little bigger so of course because these are 33 percent so let's go to this one and uh, 99 percent so let's preview it. This is a little on the left, yes, because this is on the left, so let's center them. Okay, let's preview again. Okay, that, that looks more like that. Now, oh, here we come. Yeah. This is because our, here 
here is our navigation bar and the background mode is invisible so let's make it color white color preview so now it covers what's under it completely so we want to give it some transparency so let's make it transparent and let the transparency be 20 let's preview that okay looks looks okay to me yeah Now let's go back to the buttons. Let's see if they are OK. Let's copy this. And OK, let's give them some names. OK, about ministries, watch, OK, home about ministries watch let's preview that and yeah it's it's good now here we see an interesting thing This is a button with a white background, but because, let's say here it is, because it's almost totally transparent, it's not 100%, but 95% the transparency, it looks like it's, we, we just cannot see it, so we trick our eyes with that and of course this light gray background is uh, black with 95% uh, transparency so here we have it okay this is the, the original yeah and if you want then We can make this blue. Okay. Whatever. We have done it. So I hope you learned some things from this. Um, here, here I write you what we wrote. in the CSS of our navigation bar, which is a container. I just copy this. Here it is. Position fixed C index 100. I will save this file and you can download it through the YouTube link or you can visit my website at rocketcaketutorials.com You can download the Rocket Cake file from there too. Okay, so that was it today. I hope you enjoyed it and learned some tricks. If so, I'm very happy. Have a beautiful day. God bless you. Bye-bye.